Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. Welcome to part two of my eyeshadow palette, Brutal, for me, Declutter. In this video, I will be decluttering brands E through M. We're going to get right into it. I have a mere 16 of palettes. Elf Formula for me is hit or miss. This is the Rose Gold Nude Palette. This is one of their newer palettes that you can pick up for $10. And, I mean, it was okay. I created a nice look with it, but I wasn't, you know, overly impressed. It's not something that I'm dying to reach for, so I'm going to declutter that one. I've had this palette for quite a while. This is the Elf I believe that this is the hot chocolate palette. You know, they don't put names on things, so I think that that's what it is, and I have not reached for this in a very long time either, so that will be decluttered as well. Let's move the little bite size out of the way so that we can look at the e.l.f. collab with Chipotle Mexican Grill. This is a little... Their little salad bar, their little, not salad bar, their little bar where they fix your your bowls and stuff like that. I really did enjoy this palette when I used it. It was very nice. And what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Am I going to use it? I have not used it since. Should I keep it? I think I'm going to declutter it that absolutely surprises me and all of the little bite size palettes because you know I had to have every single one of them I know for a fact that I'm not going to keep this pumpkin pie because it has been in one of my panning projects and I've used it once and I think I had it set to use it 10 times so I know I'm not going to reach for this I will definitely be decluttering that it's a shame that I can't depot these because I would put them all in one palette <laughs> This one's upside down, y'all. I do like the color story of all the rest of these palettes. So I think that I will keep the rest of these and try to work through them this year and see how I fare. The next palette is the Scorpio palette from Inslee Rain, and I had intended to do a look with this palette in November for my birthday. It is such a pretty palette. There are some shades in here, like these shades that are a little intimidating to me, but this whole side over here is just gorgeous, and you cannot buy this palette anymore, so I am going to keep it and get some use out of it this year. Next are my Essence palettes. I have four of them. I have this Never Give Up on Your Daydream palette, which is pastels, but they're all shimmers. Like, they would be beautiful toppers. So pretty. Beautiful toppers. So I think that I am going to keep that. I might depot it sans the cat hair so that I can use that. I don't know. I may leave it in the in the palette, but I'm going to keep that. This is Good Day, Good Day, Good Day, Sydney. It has some really pretty shades in it, but it's not very pigmented. So I think I am going to declutter this one. The Bonjour Montreal palette. This one as well is a very pretty color story. I haven't really reached for it. I don't know. I'm not going to keep it, but between this one and the Good Day Sydney, I might 
depot them. Either way, they're getting decluttered. And this little Tope It Up palette, which I haven't had very long, but it is a really pretty color story. I really like that, so I will be keeping that one for sure. The Estate Fall Edit Palette. I got this in one of my subscription boxes, and it is a very pretty palette. But I've already hard panned one of the shades, and it's not something that I'm going to reach for, so I am going to declutter that one. Fenty Beauty. This is one of those snap palettes. This is number seven Cadet. I have not used this palette. It was gifted to me. It is a cute little color story, and I am going to keep it and get some use out of it. Flower Beauty Desert Lights and Garden Lights. I got these during the Black Friday sale, I believe. I got them for like half off. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are so soft and buttery. Absolutely beautiful. I will be keeping both of these for sure. Gimme Glow Vintage Rose. This is a very pretty color story. Very unique. A little outside of my comfort zone, but I love their formulas. And even if I decide not to use the palette as is, I may depot it to go along with the other. I have a lot of their singles. Either way, I'm keeping it. Give Them La La Beauty. This is the Grown Woman palette. And it is a very unusual color story for me. Something that I am definitely not going to use. All I have done is swatch it. So I will be decluttering that. Glamistry Beauty Girl Code palette. This brand went out of business. This is a very pretty color story. And I have used this palette once. I did a collab video with Renee from Beauty and More with Renee. And I love how the palette performed. I am going to keep it and try to get some use out of it. If nothing else, I will depot it and use it as singles. Next up, we have my Glam Light palette. I have eight, and we're going to start off with the Street Taco. I got this in a bundle. This is not a palette that I would have purchased. I'm not crazy about the color story, so I'm going to declutter that. Scooby-Doo, y'all know I can't get rid of Scooby-Doo. Rut Row Raggy, look at how pretty that is. I have not used it yet, but that is a beautiful color story. And this is Creeps and Crawls, look, oh my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous, I'm excited to use these now that I have, am paring down my collection, I'm hoping to get some use out of these palettes. I'm keeping both of those. I have both of the Michaela palettes. I am unsure as to what I want to do with these because I do not align anymore with Michaela. But it's Glam Light, and that is a pretty color story. I'm going to keep that one for, for now, but it may end up in a future declutter and the same with this one. Are they similar? Not really. This one has more greens in it. I'm going to keep them both for now, but they may end up in a future declutter. Next, I have the two icy palettes. The blue raspberry and the cherry palette. I feel like I have this color story. In other palettes, especially in the Cosmic Brushes Wonderland palette. And this does not look like a color story that I will use. So I'm going to declutter both of these. They will probably end up in my Halloween makeup stash. My last Glam Light palette is the Cake palette. I use this palette in a collab with Andy from Andy Does Stuff. I love the packaging. It is a very pretty color story, but it's not really something that I'm going to gravitate to or use. Although those shimmers are amazing. I know that probably a lot of people are gonna find this hard to believe, but when I used the palette, I didn't necessarily enjoy it. I'm going to declutter it, but I might depot it. 
I'm unsure, but it is getting decluttered. Next, I have three Gourmand Girls palettes. The first one is the Secret Grove. I did enjoy this palette when I used it. I created a very pretty look with it. I think for now, I am going to... I think I'm going to keep it. This is the That Time of the Year palette. This was a collab with Debutante, Adventure of Xena, and the Be Brutally Honest Beauty. And this is a beautiful color story. I have not used this palette. So I think for now, I am going to keep it and see if I can't get some use out of it. And the last one is the Spectra palette. This is a collaboration with Christina Rice Makeup. And it is a very pretty color story, but I have never used it. Those shimmers look amazing, but this palette kind of reminds me of one of the Norvina palettes. And so I am going to declutter this one. I have one palette from Gwen, Gwen Stefani line, her Give, and it performed fine. But this palette is very warm, and it's a little bit too warm for me. And so I am going to declutter this. I love this packaging. This is a palette from Hard Candy. Did I tell you what the Gwen Stefani palette was, Rich Girl? This Hard Candy palette, all that rose gold, I got this at TJ Maxx for $3.99 because I wanted to try Hard Candy. I had never tried it, and I'm here to tell you I was not impressed whatsoever. So this palette is going to be decluttered. House Labs. This is the Volume 2, the Super Neutrals palette. This is new to my collection, and I really do like the color story. It's a very nice palette. It performs very well. And it's in one of my projects, my deck of panning projects, so I am definitely keeping this. Up next, we have the Ouija palette from Hip Dot. And I kept this palette because I love the packaging. It has an unusual color story. I, I don't know why you need a black shimmer and a black... Why are you not focusing? Hello? Hello, hello, okay, there we go. I don't know why you need a black matte and a black shimmer. And I'm not super impressed with the Hip Dot formula. I seriously kept this for the packaging. I did a collab video with Gloria from Beauty Over 50 and that's been several years ago. I've not touched this palette since, and I think I'm going to declutter it. Next up are my Huda Beauty palettes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I can tell you I'm not going to declutter any of them. This little glowish palette, this is Amethyst. It's just a little micro palette I picked up during her last big sale that she had and I have used it and true to Huda formula it's very nice. I have the Amethyst Obsession and the Gemstone Obsession and look at how beautiful that is. Haven't touched it but I intend to. I haven't used this one either. <laughs> the Mercury Retrograde is a beautiful palette and I have used this. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Rose Quartz, another favorite, beautiful, beautiful palette. I've used that one a couple of times as well. I love Huda Beauty and everything that she stands for. She is an amazing human being. This is the Rose Gold Remastered palette. It's one of the only palettes that I have kept the Shade Saver in because it is so beautiful. I won this palette from Sunny at Sunny's Place, and this is what started my love of Huda Beauty. You can see that I've used that quite a bit. I am definitely 
keeping this palette for sure. And my newest palette is the Pretty Grunge. I love this palette as well. I just got this one. This is her newest release. And it is a gorgeous palette if my camera will focus on it. It's awful shiny. Beautiful palette. It performs amazing. I have three Ibby, Ibby, why? I don't know. <laughs> I really like the formula of these palettes. I will be keeping all three of these. They perform really, really well. That was the poolside palette. This is Hollywood Glam. I may end up depotting these. I'm not sure. And this is the Super Bloom Beautiful Spring Palette. I have this iconic London palette. This is Beachside Babes, or Babe, and it is a pretty palette, but it's not something that I reach for. I know I'm going to declutter it. I might depot some of those shimmers. I'm not sure, but it is getting decluttered. Viva La Musica. This is J-Cat Beauty. I bought this palette because I wanted to try this brand to see what they're like, and I have not tried it at all. And looking at this palette now, I really have no desire to, so I will be decluttering that. I have two palettes from Joa. They are a Korean beauty brand. This palette is called Drinks On Me. It's a very pretty color story, and it performed okay. I wasn't super impressed. So I will be decluttering this one. This is the Chasing the Sun palette. And it is a eyeshadow and face palette. And I have not tried it yet. I think I am going to keep this one and see how it does. This is my Sorceress palette from Jolie Beauty. It is a beautiful, beautiful color story. I absolutely love it. The formula of these shadows is amazing and this one is definitely staying in my collection. Next up are my Jeffree Star palettes. I have the Blood Money and I have used this once I believe. The color story does not appeal to me so I will be decluttering that. Blue Blood. I bought this palette because my daughter wanted this palette and she loved it and it does have a really pretty color story in it but this is not a palette that I'm going to reach for so I'm going to declutter that one as well. Blood Sugar. I do not like these chunky palettes. This is a nice color story as well but again it's not something that I'm going to reach for so I'm going to declutter that. For any of you that are interested, those will be in my Macari store. This is the cremated palette. I am going to be keeping this because my daughter bought this for me as a gift. And I do like the color story. And Jeffree Star does have a phenomenal formula, regardless of what his personality is like. So... I am keeping this. Uh, I do want to use it, but also for sentimental reasons. This is the Thirsty palette, and as you can see, it has been through it, and it is a hot mess. <laughs> and it was given to me by a friend of mine. She didn't want it, and I wanted to try it, and I've had it three years. I'm assuming I've never even touched it, and the reason it looks the way it does is because her daughter got into her makeup one day and was playing around with it. This just went in the trash. <laughs> the Orgy palette. This is an all matte palette and there are quite a few shades in there that I will use. I am keeping this palette as well because my daughter bought this for me too. And the last Jeffree Star palette is this Bloodlust. Again, I, I do not like the packaging. It's very bulky, and I don't know if I can get these out of this. I will be keeping this palette because I do like the color story, 
but I would like to get it out of this big bulky case. So I'm only keeping three of those, mostly for sentimental reasons. Next up are my Juvia's Place palettes, and y'all, I have 22 Juvia's Place palettes. When I first started this journey, I thought I was collecting, and now that I've been in this journey for a little while, I realized that I didn't need to collect, and a lot of the things that I collected, I'm really no longer interested in. So, I will be decluttering quite a few of these, and some of these I will be depotting. This is the Violets by Juvia's Place, and it is a beautiful color story. I have used this once or have I? I may not have used this at all. I have heard from other friends that this did not perform very well. I was smelling it to see if it had turned, but it has not. I have only swatched this palette. I think that I am going to declutter this one. The Topes. This palette did not perform very well for me and I have other palettes that have these shades, so I'm going to declutter that one. The Rebel Grays. This is a little quad. I do like the color story in this palette, so I will be keeping that one. This is the Fula, and it's a very pretty palette. I've never used this palette. It's a very pretty color story. I still have the shade saver on it. I will be decluttering that one. The Bronze Rustic Palette. I have never used this palette either. It's a very pretty palette. This is not a color story that I would reach for, so I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Blushed Rose. This is a very pretty palette. Again, I don't believe that this is a palette that I will reach for, so I am going to declutter that one as well. So far, I've only kept one. <laughs> The Berries. This was gifted to me by Gloria from Makeup Over 50. And it is a very deep, deep, <laughs> deep color story. And I am going to declutter this one. Alori 2. Beautiful, beautiful blues. I'm pretty sure that I have these blues and other palettes, so I'm going to declutter that one. And the I Live, I Love palette, which is very unusual and not a color story that I would gravitate towards, so I am going to declutter that one. I do have some that I will be keeping, <laughs> I promise. The Warrior. This is very, very pretty. I am definitely keeping this one for sure. I love the shades in this palette. The Sahara, Saharan, the Saharan. This is a pretty palette as well, but not something that I would reach for, so I will be decluttering this one. The Queen palette. This is a very pretty palette, and I believe that this palette won some awards. It is very nice, but it's not a color story that I will reach for, so I will be decluttering that one. The Nubian Earth. I love this palette. I did a collab with Andy from Andy Does Stuff with this palette, and I really like this color story. I will be keeping that one. The Nubian 2. This is a beautiful palette, and I have not used it, but I have seen some people use it, and the looks that they created was amazing, so I will be keeping that one. The Nubian. This is pretty as well, but not a color story that I would gravitate towards, so I will be decluttering that. I like that Juvia's does not put mirrors in their palettes. This is the Masquerade Mini. This is a pretty palette as well. I wish that these shades here were a little bit cooler, but I do like these shades here. I am going to declutter this, but I may depot it. The Festival. This as well is a very pretty color story, but not one that I would gravitate towards. I don't even know what possessed me to buy some of these. I'm going to declutter that one. Nubian 3 Coral Palette. I love this palette. Love it, love it, love it. And it is staying in my collection. The Coffee Shop. I don't know why I bought this palette, to be honest. I mean, it's a pretty color story, 
but I don't know. I'm going to keep it though because I really have not used it and I need to use it to see whether or not I'm actually going to like it. The Candy Shop. Very, very pretty palette. I have not used this one either and it has lots of pastels, but those shimmers, I'm going to have to keep this one just for the shimmers. I may end up depotting that one. Garden of Juvia's. Look. Still has the shade saver on it because I have not used it. I just don't know, y'all, because of the shimmers. The shimmers are so pretty. I may have to keep this one and depot those shimmers. And the last Juvia's Place palette that I have is the Culture palette. And I did a collab with Andy from Andy Does Stuff with this palette. And I was not super crazy about it. I know everybody loves this palette, but I was just not. I mean, like these shades up here, I would not know what in the heck to do with those. The shimmers in here are very pretty though. And I don't, again, I may have to depot this and keep those shimmers. Either way, it's being decluttered. Wow, I decluttered way over half of my Juvia's place. That's pretty impressive. Next up are my Kaleidos. These palettes were gifted to me in a set by Andy from Andy Does Stuff as a birthday gift. And I am ashamed to say that I have not used them. This is Futurism Lunar Lavender. This is Astro Pink. That one's really pretty. This is Electro Turquoise. And this is Sashimi City. <laughs> so I will be keeping those, A, for sentimental reasons, and B, because I need to use them to see if I even like the darn things. Next is this Caprice. This is a shimmer palette. You can use this on your eyes or on your body. It's a very pretty palette. I think I'm going to declutter it. This is the KVD Moon Garden palette that was gifted to me by Julia from Accessorize Your Life because she said that this was a Leanna palette and she was not wrong. This is definitely a Leanna palette and I have not used this palette yet, but I am going to keep it and create amazing things with it. Next I have the Kiana Antiveros Beauty Glow and Glow and Go Kit. And I have not used this at all, and I don't expect that I will, so I'm going to declutter this. Next, I have my LA Girl palettes. This is Sun Kiss Glow. It's a very pretty palette. LA Girl has a very nice formula, believe it or not. And I really enjoy their palette, so I will be keeping this. I have the two... Keep It Playful palettes. This is Playmate that I haven't even opened. Why did they tape it? And then you have sticky tape all over everything. So pretty. Those shimmers are amazing. And this is the Downplay palette. The internet went crazy over this palette when it came out. It is a really, really good palette. So I will be keeping both of those. This is the Festy Bestie palette, and I was influenced by Renee at Beauty and More with Renee to buy this palette. Very, very pretty color story. I have used this palette. I left the shade saver on it because it has the names. Very pretty. And my last LA Girl is the Fierce Wild palette. I love this palette. Look at how pretty that is. These shadows perform amazingly. Those shimmers are awesome. I love it. Next up is this LA Splash Golden Gatsby palette and it is a very pretty 
palette I have used it. I have used one of their palettes before and I did enjoy it, but I know I'm not going to reach for this palette, so I'm going to declutter it. Moving on to Laura Geller, the Casual Collection. This is a very pretty palette that it doesn't want to focus on. I have already hard panned some of these shadows. They're pretty, but I just don't know if I'm going to use this. So I think I'm going to declutter that one. I, however, am not going to declutter either one of these. These are the baked formulas, and they're amazing. This is the Ultimate Palette, 31 Baked Shadows. Look at how beautiful those are. Keeping that. And I am keeping the Nothing But Neutrals. Beautiful. I do hate this packaging. I wish that I could get these out, but I did take one of them out. It's not that one. I think I attempted to take one out of this one. Yep, this one. But it does not, it is sitting on a plastic disc. And so I'm just afraid that if I, I probably need to glue that back in there, that if I attempt to take them out, they will just disintegrate, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm keeping both of those. Next we have the Lena Lashes The B Palette. It's in a very pretty box. Again, very bulky packaging. I just am not crazy about the bulky packaging, but this is beautiful, and it has a very nice color story in it. I have not used this palette at all, so I think I'm going to hang on to this one and get some usage out of it to see whether or not I like it. Maybe I need to roll this into one of my panning projects. Next is the Lethal X Leanna palette. <laughs> this, this is a palette that I built when they had a sale. They had a 50% off build your own palette on their website. And oh my gosh, this is my first and only Lethal palette. And I absolutely love it, love it, love it. So this is not going anywhere. Next up are my Lunar Beauty palettes. I love Lunar Beauty. This brand was one of the first brands that I bought when I started this journey. And I believe that this Greek goddess was the first palette that I got. You cannot buy this palette anymore. It is a beautiful palette. And I need to get some usage out of it. You can see that I have used it. Some, there is some disturbance there, but I need to use it some more. It's starting to wear some of the silver off, but I'm keeping that. The Moonspell palette. This palette is actually in one of my panning projects. Please focus. Hello? 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 There we go. This as well is a very pretty palette, and I love that it's a spell book. The Nude Prism Palette. I love this palette as well. This is a gorgeous palette. Those shimmers are amazing. Definitely keeping that. And this was from his 21 Days of Lunar. Or 21. 12 Days of Lunar. He did an advent and you opened your shadows. And you opened your shadows. That's my phone. I'm, I just got a text message. <laughs> and I uh, put them in the palette and this is the palette that was created and it is gorgeous I love it love it love it so I'm keeping all of those this is the Lorella 
Va Va Voom palette. And it is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Love the color story. I loved the look that I created. My only issue with this palette is those shades that I used turned my contacts like a reddish pink. <laughs> and so for the rest of the day, I looked like I was possessed by a demon. Everybody was like, are you feeling all right? You're looking a little weird there. But I loved it so much, I didn't want to get rid of it. And I don't know. I just don't know. I think I will declutter and possibly depot. LYS, look at how dirty this sucker is. Why do they make shiny packaging? This is the Love Yourself eyeshadow palette, and the name of the palette is Empowered, and I love LYS Beauty. They are one of my favorite brands, but I was not super impressed with this palette, and I do not like the shape of those pans, so I'm going to declutter this one. I have two MAC palettes. One is the Whitney Houston palette, which I just thought was a beautiful color story, and I've used it once. I want to use it again, so I'm going to keep that. And then I got this. This is the Connect in Color palette, and I got this during Black Friday, I believe. And I love the color story in this. Have I used this? Yes, I have. So I will be keeping that as well. I love the packaging too. I have three little Makeup by Mario quads and one of them is dirty. This is Party Glam. This is Rosy Glam. And this is Bronzy Glam. And the Bronzy Glam is starting to break right there. I may have dropped it. And they're okay. I was not super impressed with the formula of these. I do like these shades in this palette. But I have shades like that, so I'm going to declutter all three of those. My spreadsheet says I have four Makeup Revolution palettes, but I could only find three. I don't know where the other one is. Maybe I'll find it when I get to the bottom of the tote. <laughs> that I had all of these in because I moved rooms and I had to get them off my shelf and put them in a tote. This is the Courage Wild Animal Palette. And it's very pretty. Have not touched it. And I don't think I will. I, I think I'm going to declutter that. I'm just not impressed with makeup Revolution formula. Love the packaging. This is the Forever Flawless Spirituality, Spirituality Palette with Cannabis Stavia Seed Oil in it. This was gifted to me by Caitlin. And this as well is really pretty. I'm not going to use that chunky glitter. And again, I was just not super impressed with the formula. So, I love you, Caitlin, but I'm going to declutter this one. And I bought the Corpse Bride because Renee at Beauty and More with Renee said that she just loved this palette. And I have used it, and I was not impressed with this one either so I love the packaging beautiful packaging I love the color story that green right there is so pretty but I'm going to declutter this one as well
Mally Beauty Best Dressed Lids. This was just marketed and marketed, you know, to be an amazing bridal palette. And yeah, I'm not impressed with this either. I have used it and I will be decluttering that. This is Martine Cosmetics. This is the 669 palette. And I have heard amazing things about this palette. Again, I'm not a fan of the big trunk, chunky packaging. This has a beautiful color story. And I have not used this palette, but I'm excited to use it. I have had it for a little while. It is definitely going in the queue to get some usage. These are my two new palettes from MBA Cosmetics. They're an indie brand. I found them on Instagram. I love the packaging. This is Forest Nymph. Have not used these yet. And this is Cult of Luna. So pretty and covered in cat hair. I am super excited to use these. They are staying in my collection. Next up is Melt Cosmetics. I have quite a few Melt palettes. This stack was gifted to me by Debiton because I watched her do a video and do a look with this. And she sent me this. This is Delirium, the Shape Shift Stack. It is beautiful, and I am going to keep that. Bad Side Zodiac. When I saw these come out, I wanted all four of them. I'm glad that I refrained from buying all four of them. I, this might have come in one of my subscription boxes. Because I can't imagine that I would buy that. Nope, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it from Sephora. Not a color story that I will, will use. I have no idea why I bought that, but I'm decluttering that one. This is water. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I know why I bought this, because that's my sign. And I do like that color story, so I will be keeping that. To use it. It looks like I've used it once. Or maybe I swatched it. She's in Parties. I wanted this palette for such a long time. I think I, all I've done is swatch it. Oh no, I've used it. I have used it. I will be keeping this and trying to get some use out of it. I have the original Gemini palette, which was the first palette that I purchased from Melt. And it is gorgeous, grungy palette. I do love it. I need to get some use out of it. Everybody loves Melt. And I find Melt to be a little powdery. But I love this palette when I, when I saw it. I love the packaging. And I want to really concentrate on using that to see how it performs. And then we have the Gemini 2, and I got this because my daughter is a Gemini, and when I got it, it was molded. The shade right here had mold all over it, and I reached out to them, and they did send me a new palette. And I have used it once, but I'm going to keep that and, again, use it to see how... I fare with Melt Formula. This is the Rust palette. I believe that I have only swatched this palette. It is very pretty and grungy. I got this when they were having a like a 50% off sale. The same with the Blueprint palette. I lusted over this palette for a long time. I'm not real sure why. I mean, it is a pretty color story, so I need to use that. Keeping that one. And this is the Mariposa palette. I got this steeply discounted. 
and everybody that I have ever seen talk about this palette loves it, and I do not love it. I do not like this palette. It just, it does not perform well for me. I mean, the color story is real pretty. I don't know. I just am not crazy about this palette. I don't know whether I, I'm going to declutter it. <laughs> I just don't know if I will put it in my Macari store or if I will try to depot some of those shades. But either way, it is being decluttered. Next up is Milani. When I first started my journey, I fell in love with Milani because of these palettes. But the formula of these palettes is way different from their newer palettes. And I am not impressed with the formula of their new palettes. This is the What Do We Think eyeshadow palette. I have used it. Not impressed. That will be decluttered. The Milani Luminoso. It's a very pretty color story. I'm not impressed with the formula of this one either. That will be decluttered. These vintage babies right here will be staying in my collection. They are scratched and beat up, and I love them. This is the Pure Passion, Bold Obsession. You can't even get these anymore. They need to bring them back. This is soft and sultry. Look at that. Oh, M to the G. I need to pull these out and use them. And this is Most Loved Mattes. Beautiful. The formula of those are amazing. Somehow I missed two trying to go in alphabetical order. This is the Lovecraft Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. The name of the palette is Basic Rituals. Cute, cute little package. I love the packaging on this. This is in my fun size Pan That Palette. And you can see I have hit pan there on the white. Very proud of that. I will soon hit pan on this. But as a color story, uh, it's okay. Not my favorite, but the formula is fine. And then my Makeup Geek. This is, what is the name of this? This is the Matrix color palette. I was fortunate enough to get this on sale when they were going out of business because this was like a $129 palette and... I think I got it for like 70 or something like that. But it's a beautiful, colorful story. And Makeup Geek Formula is top-notch. Absolutely love it. So this will definitely be staying. And this has to stay because I'm panning that little fun size palette. If you hung around this long, I truly appreciate you. I would love it if you would show that like button some love. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in part three. Okay. Love you. Bye.